Welcome to the demonstration video for the U-Surface Mesh plugin. Um, for this one I'm going to demonstrate uh, how to use uh, or create a high uh, polygon mesh out of a height map and then how to reduce it down to a low polygon mesh while rendering out the normal map and a displacement map using the plugin. So to start off with we'll go and search the classes and we'll type in usurf we'll drag in the usurface mesh grid now what we want to do here with this one is uh, create a surface So we'll set it to be a little bit bigger and then we'll change the complexity. In fact, we'll choose create mesh first and then we'll have a look at the complexity and then we'll change the complexity so that it's a greater number. And then we'll go down to the height and then we'll specify the height texture to use. Go to the U surface mesh content folder which I've already created it as a favorite. So then we'll go to height maps and then we'll choose one of the height map textures. And then we'll change the height so that it's much bigger. And then we'll change the complexity under mesh settings and then complexity so that we have a very high density. So let's see what the complexity of 30 gives us. So we can see the surface here. If we increase it again. You can see the number of polygons here, that's 180,000 at 30. So that's now 500,000 polygons. So if we look at the mesh that's generated, if that's um, detailed enough then we can go to render textures and we can go down to um, so we've already got store texture data turned on so if we were to render this now then we would render the details at 500,000 polygons into the plugins internal storage of that data um, so if we choose that now it will take some time to calculate that. I'll skip this part so that you don't have to wait. Okay, so now that that's been uh, stored, we can go and change the complexity back down to a low amount. Let me just let that recalculate. And if we're happy with the complexity as it is now, then we can go to the render textures section, which I'll just increase the complexity slightly. And we can go to the render textures section and we can go down to store texture data and we turn that off now because we don't want to store this detail. We want, we've already stored the previous high detail. So therefore this time we want to bake the texture difference. That's the text that is the difference between the data that we've already stored previously and the data as it is now. So we'll go bake texture difference and turn that on. And then for now what we want to do is we want to render a normal map and we also want to render a displacement map. So therefore we'll turn on render height. 
and then we'll go down to here and we'll choose render textures so now what we have is we have a normal map in tangent space and we also have a height texture that is a displacement map um, so what we can do with those as we go view the uh, spyglass on them and then we'll right click and choose create static texture for them both for the normal map we'll open that up and change it to normal map and then we'll save them and then what we'll do is we'll go to the material that is being applied We'll choose the spyglass on that and if we go to visualize there is a visualize difference material here so we'll place that in and then we'll also open that up so what we want to do with this is we want to um, go and get those textures that we just created which you may want to move them since they're textures we, we need to keep these render targets separate from these textures so you may want to move these textures out to a different folder um, just to keep them separated so the normal map will apply into this and then also the height texture that we created will apply into that as well Just let these shaders compile. We probably didn't need to actually create um, them as textures because it was already displaying the render targets anyway. Um, but the uh, the normal map does need changing to uh, a normal map compression, so by right clicking and changing, uh, creating a static texture from that we, we then get the opportunity to change the compression settings to a normal map. So now that we've got that we're then free to change these uh, height multipliers um, if we set it to zero then the displacement map is not being used so it's not displacing. If we set it to a higher value then it'll start to displace and it's up to you to, to decide what you want. Uh, and just the same for the normal map. You can change that with the normal intensity as well. But what this allows um, is that what we've essentially created here is a lower version of the mesh. So we have low number of geometry but it still looks like uh, the high resolution version so you can see that as you move the light around And it's up to you to, to decide what the quality is for you um, and whether that works for you. So thank you for joining me for this one. I'll see you in the next one.